What's up guys, my name is Kaysen and today I'm going to share with you how to have a teal and orange look on your pictures using Lightroom Mobile. Real quick before I get into this, I've made three tutorials now, so this is going to be my fourth. The first two were on Lightroom Mobile, the third one was on Visco, so if you want to check those out, I'll put them in the description below. Okay, so we're going to go and open up Lightroom Mobile, that picture. Alright, so basically the first part of this is going to be your light. So like your exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, blacks, whites. I think I got it all. All right, so this isn't going to contribute to your look, but this is more about just fixing your picture if it's underexposed, overexposed, whatever. So I'm gonna go in here and touch this up real quick. All right, so moving on to the color. So I usually tend to favor the warmer side, so I'll turn that up. All right, so this is the part where you make your picture have the orange and teal look. So basically, you should, if you have a picture of a person, if if a person is in your picture, then you should already have the orange for the skin tones. So what I would do is go here to the orange and turn up the saturation a little bit. Big word there, a little bit. Because if you do this, okay, all right, and then you do this, I will disown you. So let me just restart that real quick. So like I said, for saturation, you can turn it up about like 20 maybe for orange. Depends on your picture though. And then for the blues, turn down the hue to get to like that teal color. And then I usually like to turn down the saturation a little bit, but that's completely preference. Like I said, don't just don't do that, please. And then if you really wanna make the blue and the orange stand out, I would go like two, so in this picture, I have a lot of trees in the background. So just go to the greens and like turn down the saturation a little bit. There we go. And I usually like my greens to be a little bit more yellow, so I'm going to do that as well. Moving on to effects. None of this is going to affect the colors, so that's completely up to you. Um, clarity, I wouldn't go too high on. Dehaze, vignette. That's up to you. So yeah, there's really not much else to say about that. So if you want to save this filter and be able to use it on other pictures, click the little three dots in the top right corner of your screen and then go to create preset. Uh, I'm gonna name it orange and teal. User presets, blah, 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 blah. Okay, hit check. And yep, now it's in your presets. So whenever you go to a picture and you wanna use this preset, you go to presets and then there it is. Just to show you that it works, I'm gonna go over to another picture. All right, here's another picture. So you go to your presets, and then orange and teal. There you go. If you like this type of content, um, I usually try to post every Monday and Thursday. If not every Monday and Thursday, then at least one of those days. Also, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna put the links to my other three tutorials in the description. Um, also, they'll be around the screen at the end of the video. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching, and I will Catch you next time. See ya.